holiday mini challenge and today we are in the kitchen yep we're gonna be back on cutting board cam today but today we're not making any food since it is the holiday season and I know everyone out there is looking for um, oh hello gizmo let your stuff in go right ahead <sighs> since I know everyone is looking for affordable gifts to give to their family. Today I am going to show you how to make um, a gift that will, you know, just keep on giving. You know, you know how I am. I just want to keep on giving and giving and giving and giving. So today we are making rice socks and I'm going to show you how to do it and how to make them smell amazing so that they not only have that warming property so they can you know help with stress relief but also lift your spirits so let's go to cutting board cam all right here we are cutting board cam i have got a couple of tea bags these are a vanilla style tea i have one argyle sock knee sock you know how i love the argyle I have some pumpkin pie spice. I've never tried pumpkin pie spice before in a rice sock, so this is going to be a new experiment. We'll see how that goes. Then I got me a big old bag of Laura Lynn, which is our local grocery store brand, long grain rice, and you'll notice that I got the extra fancy. That's right. It's extra fancy because your friends... Your friends and your family, they deserve the extra fancy. All right, so this is what we're going to do. I am going to pour three cups. That's exactly how much one of these socks will take. So I'm going to measure three cups of rice out. And put it in my big bowl. There's one. Spice her up. It's all right if the rice turns brown. It's not gonna do anything. It's not gonna. It's not gonna stain your brown sock. And since this is gonna stay dry, shouldn't be a problem. Okay. So I have kind of spiced my rice up. Mmm, it smells good. It smells like the holidays. You can just spice that up as much as you want. And you've got your spice mixture. Now you can also use essential oils to do the same thing. You could put in a lavender essential oil or whatever essential oil mixture you like. Or you can also just break up in tea bags and put loose tea in there. Whatever floats your boat. I'm using pumpkin pie spice because it's something I've got around the house. So then I'm going to scoop out a cup, around a cup, of my spice mixture. Take my good old sock. Let's check this out. I'm going to take a tea bag and I'm going to shove it down in the bottom of the sock just to give the end of that sock a little extra special flavor and smell. Then I'm going to take my sock and actually stretch it over my measuring cup and dump the rice in. You see? Now I have a nice smelly sock. I'm going to do the same thing. Go ahead and put a tea bag in. I like to put a tea bag in before every cup so that it gives it a little extra special spicy smell. Scoop up another cup of rice. it right in there. And 
and I kind of spread it out so that I don't want to fill it up too much you know I don't want it to be hard I want it to be soft so that I can stretch it around my neck put in another tea bag and more rice After our third cup, take a cup of the tea bags and down in the top. And then I'm going to take my sock, really stretch it out so that the rice is evenly distributed up until a point where I'm going to tie it. And the reason that I tie the sock instead of sewing the sock is so that in the future, if you need to, you can refill your rice. If your um, smell starts, if the aromatherapy smell starts to diminish, you can always um, replace your rice. Or if you want a different scent, you can take the rice out and wash your sock and start over again. So I'm going to tie a knot in the end. My dog Sky scratching to get back out, in and out, in and out. That's the game she plays all day. Tie a knot in the end of the sock. I like to pull the brown part out or whatever the solid color part out is. There we go. Make sure it's all pulled out. There we go. We have our nice now we can see we have our lovely rice sock you can do fun things if you want to like you could add a little you know red yarn and eyes and make it a snake or whatever but um that is how you make a rice sock now let's go stick it in the microwave and i can show you how to warm it up and then what it can do to help um, ease your stress and ease your pain. Okay, just put the right sock right into the microwave and I am going to set it for three minutes. And let it heat up for about three minutes. Okay, now that I've gotten, I've gotten it out of the microwave, I kind of roll it around a little bit and make sure it doesn't have any hot spots. And it might be a little too warm for you to put on right away. So you can let it sit. Smells good. Mmm. Smells like smells like pumpkin pie. This is an orange one that I made earlier where I used an orange tangerine tea. And this is really amazing. I like this one way best. That's for a nice mood pick-me-up. This one has more of a holiday flavor. But you can experiment and see what you like. And then when it's cooled off, all you do is you can take it and just put it right around your neck. Ah, instant stress relief. Hmm. And I like to put them down by my feet when I first crawl into bed or up by my pillow and snuggle with it when it's nice and cold in the bed in the winter. So that's how you can make a do-it-yourself affordable gift that someone can use all year round. And every time they stick it in the microwave and feel that warm sensation, think about you. All right. See you tomorrow. Eat your veggies.